guys, my name is Miss B. I am a thrift nista. And what that means is I'm someone who loves to thrift. Wherever I go, whether I'm traveling down south, up north, wherever I am, I'm going to find a new thrift location. It can be the Goodwill, it can be a Salvation Army, it could be a consignment shop, it could be a buy sell trade shop, it can be um, a garage sale, it can be a, a swap with friends. But I'm going to find a way to find some recycled items, sustainable clothing, if you will, and that pretty much helps the planet. Um, because all the stuff that you don't wear, you end up either throwing it in the garbage or, you know, it just ends up in a landfill. So why not donate your unused, unwanted, never rock brand new items to the thrift store? You know, that's the best thing that you can do. You know, you can create jobs. And that's another reason why I like thrifting because... I create, I'm helping like create jobs by donating items, by going there to shop, you know, um, you just, you can bring that opportunity to them. That means a lot, but I've been thrifting since, uh, 2004, you know, right out of college. I was just really like trying to find my own, my own style, my own swag. And, you know, going to the malls, you kind of look like everybody. I did not like that. Whenever I go to a H and M or Macy's or wherever, you know, you always come out with somebody with the same stuff. Even though I'm not going to rock it the same as somebody, I don't want to be in the same the same item. I don't. I don't want to have the same coat as you. I don't want to have the same top, same blazer, nothing. You know, shoes, that's fine because I'm really, you know, um, particular about the shoes. But as far as like garments, no, I want one of a kind looks. So the thrift store does that for me. Um, I, like I said, wherever I travel to, I'm going to find a new spot that I haven't been to. So, um, my favorite item that I love to look for in thrift stores are blazers. Like this one right here is a new one. I got this last week while I was in Atlanta. Um, just to give you a close up, you know, like it's patterns. I love prints. Anything that's going to be like eye catching, that's the item I'm looking for. I love color. I try to shy away from like, you know, blacks and blues. I like to go for like pops of color, like yellows and mustards and, and reds and all that type of stuff. But color is my thing because I want my personality to shine through my clothes. Like when I walk in a room, you already know like, oh, she is, she's lit literally because of the colors that I'm wearing. So, you know, my personality is already huge. So why not have it shine in my clothes too? Come on, Aries. I'm an Aries. Yes. April, baby. Yeah, yeah, yes. And speaking of April, I have a podcast. It's called the 415 Podcast. So, you know, make sure you tune in, make sure you follow there, you know, make sure you connect with us on YouTube, subscribe there talk about any and everything um so yeah that is that but thrifting i'm telling you man it's not for everybody but it's for me i go there because that is like that's my outlet that's my way of getting away from the busy the crazy the crazy week the you know stress or whatever that's my way to unwind while other people like to drink or you know go to a spa or whatever thrifting is my thing you be like oh that's nasty but you know what when i thrift I'm either thrifting early in the day or later in the day or when I don't have anything else planned because obviously when I go, I don't want to go anywhere else. I want to get out of those clothes that I was in the store with because it's very dusty, you know, um, and again, it's, it got a little stench to it, but it's just something that you kind of get used to over time. And since we're in a pandemic, you can't really smell because you got your mask. Well, I'm double masking right now. Make sure y'all wear your mask. But um, yeah, you kind of get used to the smell and the dust and all of that so whatever but i just love thrifting again my favorite item to find are blazers i think i own about a hundred no lie um i do like to pick up little bags you know belts uh i don't really do too much scarves um coats oh my gosh the coats that i have like thrifted over time furs faux furs what i just recently picked up a 100 percent first stole i'm talking about engraved from someone who else you know who owned it or whatever but i i find some great items but again like thrifting is all me man people always hit me up like yo i gotta go thrifting but you you always finding stuff and i'm like yeah girl yeah uh -huh, yep i do but deep down i'm like i really don't like thrifting with other people i don't i don't like shopping with people i've never liked shopping with people it's never been my thing because i have a lot of clothes I have a lot of blazers, like I said, I have a lot of skirts, I have a lot of pants, I have a lot of shoes, I have a lot of kicks. So when I'm in my thrift zone, my thrift mindset, I'm thinking about, okay, 
I have these items. What can I find here that's going to set this whole fit off? So that's what I'm doing. And with, you know, having people around me in the store with me kind of takes me off of that, that whole focus. So I know y'all want to come with me, but I can probably find it for you. You know, let me know what you like and I can pretty much find it. Um, and that kind of brings me to something else. Like I'm thinking, I'm thinking about, you know, kind of like taking this whole side hustle, this thrifting thing to, to, a, to the next level. Like, what do you guys think about me thrifting and selling the items that I find? Like, would you buy it? You know, based on all the things that you've seen me wear, would you buy it? Would you be my customer? Would you? Eh. But yeah, like, I just love thrifting. I'm telling you, it's me. I think it's a skill that I have. You know, you got to have patience. You got to have an eye. Like, you got to know, like, what you're looking for. And... If you don't carry, if you don't have a budget, you're going to go in there and go bananas. Or if you have no idea what you're looking for, you may go in there and feel super overwhelmed because you don't know what you're looking for or how to shop or how to thrift. Or you just might just end up buying stuff that you actually don't need and you end up bringing more clutter, you know, into your own. So um, leave it to me. Leave it to me, the expert. I've been doing this since 2004, y'all. That's over 10 years, what you said. So yes. But anyway, this was a last minute item that I found because of my eagle eyes I was online and I looked to my left and I seen this print and the color <sighs> tell you this thing is bad y'all this thing is bad this baby bad but like I said I'm Miss V two snaps less work I used to be a runway model and a runway coach so you know me being able to play around in clothes it's right up my alley. This is my thing. I love to be a canvas. You know, I pretty much fit into anything, you know. Thanks, Mom. But, yeah, I just love what I do. And, you know, I'm doing things. You know, I got my little mannequin over here and I got a little clothing rack. So, just be aware of, you know, my next couple of posts because it's going to be, like, a lot of thrift hauls. Like, everything that I purchased when I was down in Atlanta last, you know, last couple of uh, weeks. I found some awesome items. Can't wait to share. But, Thanks again. Thanks for listening. Drop me some comments. Let me know if you would buy from me if I thrifted and started selling. Let me know. Let a sister know. Till next time, you already know, y'all. Mm, I miss be here.